Nope, don't want to see the anime intro. Still has spoilers. We'll watch it another time. Okay, so we'll get to here. So that should stop the intro. Um, there was a thing I was able to snap up and get. And I want to make sure we at least get it for one stream. Because it is amazing. It is adorable. Artists are cracked. And possibly even crunk. Even. It's by a keys cat. And it's just a little pumpkin. I made a little trekkie pumpkin. A little popping out of the pumpkin. <laughs> it's adorable. Look at him. Look at him bouncing around. How can you be mad at that, that uh, silly little face? That's the kind of face that you give all your almond joys to. You know, you know they deserve it, alright? It just... All, it's like a dispensary, but like the other way, like a a, a a respensary, or like a mail drop, like a mail drop, and you just put almond joys into it. <laughs> Let's get our game open luck. This has something to do with Valkyrie Chronicles. Um, Valkyrie Chronicles, I know there's, is that, hold on, is Val, Valkyria Chronicles, that's the one with the, uh, the women and the tanks, right? Am I thinking, like, it's kind of like a wartime setting? Yeah, no, this has nothing to do with Valkyria Chronicles. Um, so Valkyrie Profile is a tri-ace game, um, probably better known for their, uh, I think the Star Ocean franchise, um, which is, they've been focusing a lot more effort than in the Valkyrie Profile, um, part, which is very frustrating. Uh, Valkyrie Profile does not have a lot of love, um, most of their ports of Valkyrie Profile have been an old PlayStation Portable remake, which uses the Japanese locale, and all they do is add some different CGI cutscenes for a couple things, like the intro and some other stuff. It's not good in my opinion we are playing the english locale playstation one version of valkyrie profile so there are a couple things that the english localization of valkyrie profile has that the japanese and the psp one don't um there's some bug fixes uh the only one that really would be noticeable is that in the japanese and I don't believe it's patched in the PSP one. You can't modify party members that are outside of your current party. So like, I can change this character's equipment, but I can't change, um, say, uh, okay, well, we don't have any extra characters, but if I have other characters, I wouldn't be able to change their equipment unless I swap them immediately in the party. Um, that goes the same for all sorts of things like abilities and skills and things like that. So it's that one's a very minor bug fix, but also the L2 and R2 buttons are usable in the English locale, whereas the Japanese and the PSP versions, you only have L1 and R1. And the L2-R2 allow for a little bit of extra just quality of life stuff. Um, I would say the biggest thing that Valkyrie Profile, in every single time they bloody well port it, that they are missing quality of life wise, is a cutscene skip. Like that, of, of all the things, that's kind of the biggest thing uh, that's a little frustrating. Because this is an old JRPG, and it loves its 
lore. It loves its cutscenes. The beginning has about 20 to 30 minutes before you get to your first save point. It is a very long prologue tutorial thing. And we're not going to hit it for a while, but there is going to be another very long cutscene, um, which is also unskippable. And like, that's fine for like one playthrough, your first playthrough. I've played this game a lot. Um, I actually speed ran this game a little bit just on my own amateur wise. And like your 20th or 30th time through, having about 45 minutes to an hour of cutscenes is rough. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I will probably never play a Kojima game. Um, at least in a speedrun capacity, but also probably, I don't know. They're, they're too movie-like for my taste uh, most of the time. Uh, Kojima, I maintain, is a movie director trapped in a game director's body. I, 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 I pray for his status. Um, I do need to check really quick. So one of the things of Valkyrie Profile is we are basically... Um, getting the souls of those who have passed and preparing them for the battle going on in Valhalla. And as a part of that, we are given a list of traits and basically a hero value. Like we need, we need some troops with enough quality. Like they gotta be kind of good, you know? So let me see. Actually, yeah, I need. I do need to see what they are because one of the major goals that we're doing in this, we're true ending. Um, we are sending up maximum number of characters per chapter, so two characters per chapter, and we're going to be getting all characters and all dungeons. Um, the all the sending up two characters per chapter part is what makes getting the true ending a little bit difficult. Um, I think next chapter is when things are going to be really dicey. This chapter, when I was doing my math, looks like it's going to be a bit of a wash, but I do need to set up for the next chapter, like, intelligently. I need to see what our characters are going to need to have. I forgot to get that real quick. And this is why we store VODs, because I can just load it up and zip over. Right. We need hero value of 80 with negotiator, trick, demon intelligence, and hear noise. Perfect. That is good. Yeah, this is our first time we have like a non-class specific requirement. Um, so let us go ahead and see what characters we have. There are two characters that come to mind. We are guaranteed to find this chapter, but uh, there is still a pool of about four characters that it's going to be a little bit random when they will possibly show up. Let's see who we've got. Great. You? It can't be true. Lelia, hang on. Lelia. Gray. Lelia and Gray. You. It wasn't you. <laughs> It was I, the butler! When we find out where he is, we'll meet up again. The signal to meet will be as we plan. All right. We are headed to Vilnor first. And I believe that is our familiar face, Cecilia. 
Uh, Cecilia has shown up for three of the characters we've recruited so far um, as part of a party, and one by one, her party members have perished. Um, a little bit of um, tragic survivorship uh, trauma for her. Um, but let's see if she will be joining our party. Forgive me, my oh, friends. no. I can't make it. This is one of the guaranteed characters. Yes, I have been waiting for this character. How tedious. I don't care how many times you ask, I'm not going to answer. Who are you? I am the chooser of the slain, a Valkyrie. Hmm. Next comes the death goddess. Leave me alone. It's too bad, but I'm not going to die. You do not sound like the slain woman who was weakly dying moments before. But if you wish... Yeah, you just simply refuse to die. Perfect. Even Lord Gandar's subjugation spell has no effect. Let's say those with dragon's blood are strong against magic. But to resist this much... <laughs> I think our Gandar character is a villain. The Dragon Gem, that's just folklore! Do you not agree with me? Have you discovered it yet yourself? It is the search, not the discovery, which is the truest pleasure. Don't you agree? I can't die yet. Is Ayla's a survivor? She's gonna make it. Ayla's a survivor. I found out where he was? She's not gonna die. Ooh, she found someone. Who did she find? She refuses to eat. She's just about at her limit. Are you ready to talk? You slimy scum. If you want more, there's plenty left to give. Eldritch Blast! You went through a lot of trouble for me, but... Why do the gods need human souls to fight for them? Hmm, why indeed? Why can't they do it themselves? You're gods, aren't you? Though your body may be bound, no physical restraints can shackle your spirit. Hila's got it some is fire this to her. That we recognize within you. I see. So you admire humans. Hila <laughs> answered my question. You being a little but smug there. You'll keep your promise. You want to provide your friends with information. It is a simple request. Leneth, very nice Grim Reaper, uh, will do a favor. Gondar. He defiles the name of the gods, perpetuating wicked ideas. I will remember him. <laughs> Gandar has done something evil. Valkyrie will remember this. Hmm. I wonder if we will see Gandar again later. All right, Ayla is absolutely going in the party for this chapter. Uh, she is a lot of fun. I like her character. She's kind of like um, Yume, because uh, Yume is a merfolk. So she's one of my favorite sorcerers, just because you know her sprite changes. She does interesting things. Ayla has a really cool limit break, um, which I will show off at the absolute first opportunity. <laughs> 
But let's see what other characters and what other lands await us. We do a little spinny spin and find a dungeon. Survey says, Cave of Oblivion, one every chapter, but we'll leave that for the end, if at all. All right, our second dungeon. Trying to think. I think one of the dungeons we'll be finding is a grab dungeon. Cave of Thacus. Yep, that's what I was thinking of. That's a dungeon which seems hard, but is actually hilariously easy any of the king's orders. if you use items only. We're finally getting this archer. This is a character I thought we were going to be getting last chapter and would have been really useful to throw up when we needed archers. Let's head over to the Krail Montefuge. Mon or Monferang. And find out who this knighted supposed coward is. Feels like he's got a bit of a, uh, uh, not, not Jack Sparrow, but the, the other dude, the other main character, pretty boy kind of thing going on. William, William Tell? No, that doesn't sound right. You know what? I'll say he's more of like, well, slag it. Hey, aren't you Janice? Ellipsis. Hey, long time no see, buddy. You've come back, huh? But hey, man. What are you doing here anyway? <gasps> this place is for worthy warriors, ain't it? There ain't no place for cowards. Get lost. Damn, punch so hard the screen shook. I did not run from my duty. Uh, I'm sorry. Pat. <laughs> A man of few words, our character be. Sir, we've received a report that Janice was seen in town the other day. What? Where would he return now? Perhaps he seeks revenge on us. Ah, a bit of noble intrigue. I am so proud of you, my son. You have been knighted, made part of the king's inner circle. It seems his father is no longer here. Why does Janice return to his home? Place that betrayed him. Who are you? Apparently his aim has not gotten better though, because he fucking whiffed that shot. Are these the secret writings? The man who retrieved the stolen documents, you see. What? Let him in. 
Very well. That's right. Mistakes will not be forgiven. Damn. Pretty cutthroat down in the underworld. Janice, you did well! Oh, right in the back. Poor bastard. If you'd only done this from the start. No. I couldn't kill him while the previous king was still alive. I heard he wanted to get reinstated as a knight! Ridiculous! Huh! <laughs> that coward! He ran away with his tail between his legs! <laughs> Unfortunately, like Janice was left without his father, Janice's child is left without his. I just wanted to make my father proud. For him, I'd follow any of the king's orders. Even if the work is dishonorable. So, Janus was basically was sent stripped of the rank of knight and forced as out of the city. a ten years underground I didn't agent for ten years. I was worried about my father. Sort of like a deniable asset he... to go assassinate. Uh, Do you know? I drink the water, so I apparently need to live or something, and then I have to go put the water somewhere else five minutes later. All hours of the day, all hours of the night, no matter what I'm doing, my life is interrupted by this. Dang, Aurora, you got the rare hydrate, and I didn't have the thingamabob of a jigger open. Let me fix that real quick, and we will, we will, we will simulate the shenanigans that was supposed to happen when you got really lucky right then. So let me just, hold on. Get rid of the overlay, and then I need to go, oh, hold on, let's go to this. Let me go to uh, this. And um, if I mess up that F19, that will be not good. Actually, you know what? I bet I can do it on my button. So I'll change this key press. Do F19. Then if I press it, there we go. Yep, yep, yep. Make sure you hydrate, or this is what happens. You get a whole bunch of water bottles thrown at you, and the water bottles explode into fish. Um, so hydrate before you dehydrate, and then go put that water somewhere else. Uh, five minutes later. <laughs> So Janice, again, all of our characters, there's, there's going to be tragedy because we only get the souls of the dead. Um, Janice was basically sent as a assassin um, by the previous king. And so he was exiled to provide cover while he went and did his thing. And ultimately, he came back you know, he, he did everything because he wanted his father's approval. And the previous king had been... Um, I don't remember if he was deposed or if he basically passed from old age. But either way, there was a regime change. And the noble that we saw uh, get rid of Janus was basically, I think, working for the other countries in some aspect. So that's why he wanted to get rid of Janus. Janus kind of made things a little bit difficult and would have been a little bit awkward if he acknowledged the work that Janus did for their country. Let's see what other dungeons and characters are in store for us. We've already got the Cave of Oblivion. We've got the Cave of Thacus. Um, we have a thing that I haven't mentioned, but it exists on the map. That will be for next chapter to deal with. Now we have 
The Dark Tower of Zerva. Ooh, I didn't realize we'd be getting to that now. All right, we have a interesting one, two of dungeons. All right. All right. This is our other guaranteed character for this chapter. Lazard is a character. <laughs> oh, you cannot allow any more desecration. What? What are you trying to say? If not that, then why? Ye know me. It shall be engraved on thy very soul. Lazard Valer. Lazard, think this through, please. <laughs> Haven't you considered? I already thought this through! Fuck it! We're doing it live! Blentsburg. Alright, let's go ahead and save. We're getting to the point where we need to use every single period provided to us. So let me do another soul concentration. I think we have all of our dungeons and characters, but I want to make sure. Ooh. We have another character? No. No, we've definitely found everything. I hate that the You Found Nothing, like, has the same starting tone as a uh, new character. We're going to go ahead and reload right fast quick. And before we go to Flensburg, actually, you know what? Never mind. There's going to be a there's going to be something for us, so we can we can go straight into Flensburg. And this is something that is mandatory if you want to get the true ending. Um, not just the character, but we are going to be going straight into a dungeon. Master Lazard, I'm sorry. There are too many of them after us. Don't panic, Bellion. You go on ahead. Do not let them retrieve the woman. Yes, Master. Go forth, Shrek. Fucking look at that lighting. Ye know me, and if ye do not, ye shall be made to know me. He has got the anime hair. It shall be engraved on thy very soul. Lazard Valer. If ye shall accept the brand of hell upon thee, thy sanction shall in turn be lowered. I shall grant thee the deliverance of thy soul, and ye shall come now before me. Dude, uh, definitely going with that old school summoning practitioner. Oh shit! Full on demon warrior. What right have you puppets to attack a human? Other than the kidnapping, um, and the murder, and the demon summoning. Um, <laughs> I'm afraid this mad little interlude is over. <laughs> Pushes glasses up on nose. <laughs> Jumps onto the back of his fucking harpy uh, uh, mount. <laughs> Flies away. It's like a reverse Gandalf and eagles. <laughs> halt! Lazard out! Mic drop. Flies away. <laughs> Oh, hey, it looks like he rents the same dungeon as Gandar. Master Lazard has ordered me to keep an eye on you. Ooh, she's shiny. Now he's shiny. We've moved my chains. 
Yes, I will remove your chains. Yes, just like that. Uh oh. Uh, this wasn't supposed to. Oh boy, I don't think Shrek likes getting his mind uh, controlled. Oh, Lazard with the save. Did I make it in time? Wouldn't want you to be hurt after I went through all that trouble to kidnap you. I thought you might realize. That's right. This construct is a homunculus, a man-made life form. Doing a little bit of human transmutation. <laughs> As one does. A homunculus? What a naughty little puppet you are. What was that? Some sort of bewitchment charm? However, as you have seen, the fabric of a homunculus' psyche differs from that of humans. That is why poor Bellion here went mad, I'm afraid. <laughs> How unfortunate for you. Or... <laughs> Perhaps you are even naughtier than I thought. Did you use your charm hoping for a little action? How... How dare you! I thought so. You can speak the human tongue if provoked. Ah, oh, well. Of course, if a human were to couple with one of you elves, it would be a little different than engaging in a liaison with a doll. But then, since Billion here is a homunculus, you two puppets would be perfect for each other! <laughs> Go. To. Hell. <laughs> Do you take offense at being called a puppet? Then perhaps I should call you... Vessel of the Gods. Ugh. Nani? Surprised, my dear? Then listen well. I have found the Philosopher's Stone. Even you must know what that is. The... Well, the... Suffer's... Stone? However, the wisdom sealed within the stone cannot be gleaned so easily. Sadly, the legends were a bit off. The stone does not transmit all the world's knowledge instantaneously. How did a devil like you... Silence, puppet! Stop assuming the human tongue! Uh. Do you want her to speak in understandable language or not, Lazard? You gotta make up your mind here, bro. Perhaps it was being irreverent in its way, but the first thing the stone told me was this. Anything which claims to be all is nothing more than a deception, it said. I don't think you should trust what a rock tells you, Lazard. But then again, uh, I feel like Lazard has a few things loose um, in that little uh, mind of his. It's just a little, just a couple hints. He might be a little unhinged. Yet still, my seeking out of the stone was quite worthwhile indeed. You shall become a sacrifice. A sacrifice to satisfy all my desires. The ultimate ship, the Elf Raft 2.0. We don't talk about Elf Raft 1.0 through 1.7. And now, for something completely different. A very happy birthday to you, Headmistress Lorenta. Thank you. I do so appreciate it, you know. By the way, young lady. Have you seen Miss Stina anywhere? I haven't seen her all day. Sigh.
<laughs> I wonder if he still be awake. Ooh, no music. Spooky night. Ah, I'm finally home. He must be asleep by now. Ooh, Gibty. Meow. What's that, Gibty? You've got a message for me? Timmy fell down the well. There's no wells here. Are you lost, little one? Oh no, Demon Kitty! Her name was my favorite teacher's birthday, wasn't it? I should make so much like to catch up on old times. This cat here will show you the way, so please do come, and come alone. Your husband and I shall be waiting on pins and needles for you. Signed, Lazard Valeth. I don't know how he, like, shaved that message into the cat all the way. That seems a little bit rude. Uh, pretty good on Laurent Laurenta being able to notice and actually, like, read the whole thing. Kind of weird. Lazard, that boy. Hey, some of that old school render cutscene, baby. Oh, yeah. Look at that impractical tower. Modern marvel of engineering, not satisfied with one tall, uh, phallus adjacent wizard tower. Lazar just stacking a bunch of different towers. Only the highest of quality graphics here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The finest PlayStation 1 graphics. It has been a while, dear teacher. You were the most brilliant student I ever had. So why? What could possibly make you do a thing like this? You went so far as to kidnap my husband. Why? For some sort of revenge? If that is the reason, then please let my husband go. He has nothing to do with this. Revenge? Do you think I bear you such ill will because you expelled me from the academy? If not that, then why? I thought of using a lot younger couple, but they might have not yet experienced true love. At any rate, elderly couples like you have no future. Wow, a little bit ageist there, Laurent, uh, Lazard. You two have a lifetime of love behind you, don't you? Even now. What? What are you trying to say? I too covet love, and so... You shall die! Lazard! Think this through! And then Lazard teleports. <laughs> Lazard out. Deuces. That was a teleportation spell? With that much power at his command, how did the boy go wrong? Lazard. Lazard. Lazard! Oh, a dark and stormy e evening. Dear Lorenza, yes, it's me, dear. I'm gonna be all right. Lorenza, I, I, something's not right. That that man gave me some sort of potion. Feels almost like I'm in someone else's body. <laughs> Happening to me? Ah! 
something's transforming me. I'm, I'm. Uh, oh, actually, I just, I just had to fart. Uh, hey, so uh, what's going on, Lorenta? How did we get here? <laughs> He's evolving. <laughs> Lorenta's husband evolves into a corpse because he is dead. Gods, forgive me. There's nothing I can do for you. No matter how powerful my students think I am, I cannot help you. Forgive me. L Lorenza, kill me, please. I can't, I can't stand. You know I can't do that. You're the most important person to me in the world. Nothing can change that. Can you feel it? The surge of the undead? Can you not hear it? The mad wailing? Oh, goddess, surely you cannot allow any more desecration. Come to me. I burn. I burn, I burn with passion for you. Oh, Lazard seems to have a crush on Lennis. Valkyrie. He specifically wants the Valkyrie. We're also going to ignore that weird pulsating thing up in the top left. Don't worry about it. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, wow. Uh, Lorenz's husband uh, must have been a steroid potion because he bulked up. Why? Why did it have to come to this? Ah. Uh, Come back to me. I love you, my dear. Oh, crushed spine. And then Valkyrie shows up too late. Or maybe just in time. Because I think Lorenta has a few things she would like to say to Lazard. All right. We have got some good jams. We are going to go ahead and save. You can tell this is special because after recruiting that character, we are immediately inside a dungeon. Now, it's very important that we beat this dungeon. However, if we leave and we do anything else, this dungeon will disappear. Um, what I might do, however, is to make sure we min-max a thing I need to juggle. We might not finish the dungeon, but get our characters ready to send up. We'll back out, send up our characters, and then immediately go back in and getting to the boss. Um, I'm not... I need to double-check if that will work. Yes. Yes. So, um, there's a value separate from evaluation. Evaluation is basically how we're being judged on Odin, but what we really need to care about is that this, uh, I, I don't know why I'm stumbling on the menu at the moment. Um, where everyone else has a hero value, Valkyrie has a seal value. We need that number to be at a specific range at just the right time. Um, as soon as I can get a cutscene, we will be locked into the, um, uh, true ending. But until we get that cutscene, um, these next couple chapters, we might have to go a little bit out of our way just to make sure we do things in the right order. Um, because, like, if we send characters up, it's going to add 
to that seal value, but it will stop at 100. And then if we do things that will drop that seal value, it's better that like, if I did something right now that lost like 20 seal value, and then I sent characters up bringing me to 100, that's nothing. But if I get up to 100 and then did the thing that made me lose seal value, I'd be at 80, you know? So it's, it's a little obtuse as all old school JRPGs are, but y'all should not have to really worry about it. That's going to be something I stress over. Um, so we are in our dungeon. Before we get started in breaking down to Lazard, um, who also wants to meet the Valkyrie, probably for an autograph, um, we'll give it to him at the point of our blade, or in this case, arrows, because I switch her to an archer. Uh, thanks for the boop, and thanks for the stretch, Aurora! Uh, so, as you can see, we put in all three of our new characters. Um, I think Cashel will be someone we send up. So, I've already got him set up for throwing up. Um, I don't want to send up our mermaid because I believe there's actually a chapter that specifically wants characters for swimming. And so, I think it's very aesthetic to send her up at that time. Um, I mean, I think I'm gonna eliminate Aelia just because I really like her character. I wanna use her for at least uh, two chapters uh, before putting her up on the transcending block. So I guess I'm probably gonna put it to a poll near the end as we've done our dungeons as to whether we should send up Janice or Lorenta. Um, I don't really, I'm not really gonna be using a lot of archers. Um, they have some uses, but Valkyrie outclasses all of them in damage and utility. Um, the only archer that has something unique and special that I remember is Lelwyn, in that his third attack actually counts as a magic attack, so enemies can't block it and it works like a magic character's um, familiar ability for some reason. And we sent him up early because as good as that is, we have actual magic casters. So like, what does it matter? Um, because our characters are starting at level one, let's be a little bit magnanimous and give them, you don't need experience. What are you doing? Stop it! Stop it, Yume! Stop being greedy! We'll get them to, like, level three. Just because that will give them a good bit of starting points for us to get them squared away. And also, so they don't fall over like a piece of paper as soon as battle happens. Because, um... Damage is calculated by uh, difference in levels, and that will see characters schwacked. We want to make sure our characters have at least one thing in first aid. Our melee character needs counter. We're going to max out attack power, and then um, we're going to get plenty of levels, so I'm not going to worry about maxing out traits yet. I think I want to make sure to give her um, stats that will improve her combat ability. So we want so strength is max. We need strength for damage. Bite will give us a little bit. Survival will give her HP, which is important. All right, so it's just going to be survival and fight. Let's make sure we give her first aid. We go over to Janice. Make sure you have first aid. Um, make sure you have attack power. Good stuff. We'll give you fight and survival. 200 extra HP, ain't nothing to shake a stick at. Make sure first aid is equipped. Um, 
I feel like there is an archer ability I am not thinking about. Let me check our skills. I see. We already have trick step. Auto item. Oh, I forgot we got that. That is very important. We don't need that. Um, let's see if we can transmute trick step real quick. And that becomes noise arrow. All right. Because I know there is an archer ability that is actually very useful to have at times. Um, all foes, all enemies. Nope, that's not it. Um, I think we need to get skill level times 40%. So we need to get that to skill level 3. And so what we can do with this is we can re remember how to get over to the menu. There it is, square. We can set, um... Phoenix Downs to 100%, and what this will make is our characters will now auto-revive. So this is going to improve us a lot. Now, this has a cost. Um, I believe they will get a charge turn. If I'm remember, I might be misremembering. So I don't want to put um, auto item. I don't think I want to put auto item on our caster because I think it messes up casters. Uh, so I'm only going to set it up for our melee characters to have auto item or our non-caster characters to have auto item. Um, so let's go back to Ayla and give you two things in auto item. Better than none. Over here, get Union Plume to 80%. Good enough. Uh, so that's Janice. Valkyrie. Give her that. It's not like Final Fantasy... Um, was it... Not 13. I think it was the one before. I think it was 12. The one that had, um, you could basically, like, program your characters. So you could be, like, uh, at less than 80% health, use a full heal. If a character's at less than 20, or, you know, less than 50% health, use a normal heal. Like, things like that. You could, like, completely automate battles. Um, it's not that smart. You can't set up, like, conditional things like that. But, it is still pretty darn sick. Lorenta, first aid, three things in auto item. All casters need one point in weight reaction. Fortunately, she is already out of skill points. Yikes. Or no. No! I didn't want to use fucking auto item on her. Damn it, Drecky. Well, shice. All right. Um, so she has her spear. He has the good crossbow. She has a new sword, which is why I switched her back to sword. It's a sword with three attacks. Uh, Lorenta has the dragon bane. I don't think it gives us um, great magic. Uh, we will actually probably be swapping to an Elemental Scepter. Um, even though it has less damage, like you can see on the numbers there. Great Magic is very powerful. And it is a special sort of, like, limit break. Alright, so I think this is going to be our last save for this menu. Uh, sorry about all that. Let's start exploring... 
the tower of Lazard. But before we take the elevator, let's go straight. To another elevator. All right. Well, she. We got two elevators. I don't know which elevator is better to take, so we'll take the further one. Oh, this might actually be the right way to go, and I probably should have explored the other one first. To my side, my noble All These right. Already opening up with the Dragon Tooth Warrior. Now, Lorenta, uh, you didn't get to see it, but she has a really good starting spell. Lorenta, how about you start things off and show people the Mystic Cross? <laughs> My and then Ayla's amazing. Power has awakened. Finishing strike. Because Ayla is part fucking dragon, baby. Nothing like a little bit of dragon fire to lighten your afternoon. Am I right? This one is strong. For my honor. Let's see what Janice does. Guilty break. Got himself some explosive arrows. Well. Took some notes we'll from uh, now, Rain World's thing. explosive spears. And then we'll just let Lorenz. We'll just go completely, Depart absolutely now, nuts protest. to kill this uh, Dragon Tooth Warrior. Dragon versus Dragon. Exactly. Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. So, Dragon Tooth Warriors have a special ability called Possess. Basically, their stats will get added to a random other creature. So usually you want to kill them at the same time, because the Dragon Tooth Warriors have pretty big, beefy stats. Um, unfortunately, our characters... Oh, fuck them up! Ayla hit him with a roundhouse kick. The disrespect. Ha ha! Yeah! Okay, our party's getting pretty good at the juggling situation. There's that auto item coming on in. The only big skill we're still missing is Guts, so we can have the chance to not even need to use Phoenix Sounds. Um... Oh, the downside to being revived is they can't act. That's what it was. Uh, Valkyrie... Not doing so hot. Yikes! Um... Hmm... Let's... Have someone use a potion. Because a potion is cheaper than a Phoenix down. So these first few battles are going to be a bit of a struggle bus as our characters are very underleveled. And uh, usually I would only swap in two new characters for a little bit until they get a bit equalized, but I didn't want to. Yeah! yeah. All right. Get repoisoned, nerd. Okay, I think if we unleash everyone... We can finish off this Dragon Tooth Warrior. For my honor. Finishing strike. Yeah, there we go. Guilty break. Yeah, I think very well. Like, I will strike again. Oh my fuck me. Burns. Why how did Lennox not get in the rotation? Finishing strike. Wait a minute. I need to check the sword that she's wielding. 
I'm wondering if it's a weapon that doesn't have limit break. And if that's the case, then this one is strong. Fuck. <laughs> Died to poison. <laughs> Get fucked, nerd. My skills will be dulled by opponents. Like <laughs> Both of our all of our characters already getting a level up. Ooh, a couple of breastplates. That is good fucking equipment. Um. So Valkyrie, Radiant Sword. You the power of light. Sword absorbs holy magic and transfers health to its wielder. Okay, I'm going to check next battle, like, focus specifically on seeing if... Because, like, there are weapons that... Fuck. There are weapons that don't have, uh, great magic. Or weapons that specifically enhance it. You know, it's like, it's an old-school JRPG. There's a lot of nuance to the game that is not very clear indicated. All right, I was wrong. That was the dead end elevator. Um, but let me make sure. Whoa! Never mind. That elevator took us to another floor. I almost slid face first into this dragon. To my side, my noble Einherjar. All right. These are much too dangerous. All right, Valkyrie does have combo. All right. Oh, I fucked that up. Oh, shit! Did we just get party wiped? <laughs> that dragon just said, you know what? Fuck you, go into the void. Yeet. All right, let's reload our save and maybe do a little bit less fucking around because I think we've found out plenty. Oof. Dragon zombies and I don't know, I didn't see that one's name real quick, but the upgraded ones are nothing to sneeze at. Let's check this elevator first. In case it is the wrong way. Stab this dude in the face. To my side, my noble Einherjar. Ooh, a druid and a bloodsucker. Or a wise sorcerer. Bloodsucker, this enemy design is really interesting. I've always liked it. It looks like just a insanely like, a creature made of, like, just bone and sinew. Oh, it's just visceral. Alright. Still need a bit of practice to get all of our characters' attacks to line up. Wow, that sorcerer just one-shotting Ayla. Rude. Okay. But hey, Ayla's back. Tell a friend. Ayla's back. Yeah! yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and use our ultimates to kill this dude. Strike. Guilty break. Who shall fall next? So ideally, if we were using our full limit breaks, we'd want to go Janus. Valkyrie, Lorenta, Ayla to maximize damage. Ooh, they gave us a spell. Stone Torch. Interesting. Alright, what's on this floor? Oh, great. We're finally encountering the explosion things, naturally. Oh, great. All right, so Fatal Glimmer has to be killed first. I fucked up. I fucked up. 
strike dreading dragon I shouldn't have used limp break oh never mind felt my strength completely calculated meant to do that absolutely did you not mean to contract mode on them? No, I wasn't. I thought it would survive. And also, Ayla is not a good person to lead on um, the combos. Because uh, Ayla does a single hit. And it may not charge up for other characters to do their thing. Yeah, I tried to juggle a few more crystals out of them, but guess they died. Oopsie, I killed them dead. An unworthy foe to begin with. Ooh, man, our enemies are dropping tons of spells on us. How nice of them. We got one level. What about Two more side, levels, however? I think most of the enemies in this area are like level 15. No, I think it's more like level 12. So once we get closer to that, our characters are going to be much more survivable. That was a really good rotation. Because if we can get in and knock them up in the air with Valkyrie, right as Mystic Cross is going on, we can get a lot of juggled uh, air juggling for magic crystals. And the enemy, oh, they dropped an Invoke Feather. That is very good. That's a rare spell. There's not a lot of places to pick it up in the normal overworld from chests, but it is basically uh, revive for casters. I might need to adjust Ayla's. Oh man, Janice got fucked up by that bloodsucker. Did I underestimate? But Ayla's order of attacks may not be very good for us because she does like that roundhouse kick, then she throws her spear and then does like a drill spear. But the thing is, is she ends up too close to the enemy. So you have to actually do the roundhouse kick, wait a beat for her to step back, and then do the rest of her attacks. Um, it might be better if I just like reorganize them. See, she, her drill attack missed because uh, the enemy was too high in the air. Thankfully, we stunned the Bloodsucker. Um, let's go ahead and unleash hell. Take that! Yeah! It is a little hard to juggle completely different characters, all with different attack timings, all at the same time. Because if you wait a little too long, then they will not be counted in the current, like, battle cycle. Ooh, we have a Manticore. We could get the Beast Slayer out, or we could fuck it. Ah. These beasts are much too dangerous. All right, so Janus finishing strike. So archers tend to not have very strong ultimates, but they are well, many hit. It shall be engraved upon your soul. And we get Valkyrie to get that Divine count assault. up. Nebelong Velesti! Hell yeah, we still have the level 2. Cannot wait until we can have the level 3. It is sick. Surely you realize and then we finish up with a bit of Dragon Force, baby. Power has awakened. Finishing strike! Dreaded Dragon! If I remember correctly, every hit increases the damage by, like, 5%. So that's why you want to do your big multi-hits and then have your you have huge single target hit 
at the very end to optimize them. The math can be a little bit complicated because everyone has different, uh, uh, like, multipliers and values on their limit breaks. The only people who are consistent really are mages. Okay, we've had a couple levels. Let's get our characters a little bit more um, rounded out. Let's start... Yeah, Ayla has not had good experiences with men. Um, possibly... Just really likes kissing girls. Good for her. Janice loves his parents. He's a little bit too self-sacrificed. So the traits can, like, basically go up or down. So, like, this is, like, reducing, like, the severity of hates men. This is making her less foolhardy. This is making her more confident. You know, it's, like, accentuating their uh, characteristics or shoring up where they may have blind spots or weaknesses. Because, you know, there's prideful and stubborn. You know, we can make that kind of weird how healthy is a specific stat. Ayla's, Ayla's hero trait page is a little bit of all over the place, honestly. Lorenta still needs magic power. Feels like she just has so much, oh, I know why now, never mind. Yeah. That tracks. Alright, I think our characters are pretty well rounded at a baseline. We're gonna send the next few levels to max out their traits. Or at least get them to about 80. Interesting, honestly, a cool man. Can it also wasn't Lorenta next snapped earlier? Yeah! Yeah, her neck was broken right in front of us, and because she is now dead, uh, we grabbed her soul, and she joined the party. Remember, everyone in our party died. <laughs> That's why this is a game uh, of tragedies, for the most part. To my side, my noble Einherjar. Because uh, she could not bear to kill her husband of so many years. Haha! Yeah! Take that! Alright, our characters are getting to the point where they can dish the damage out. Gonna be a while before they can take a hit, however. But that's why we have Phoenix Downs on auto use. Weird how we were unable to juggle anything out of them. Oh, because... There we go. Are you... I thought the damn... I thought it was dead. Did I underestimate it? I like how it died before I could use a Phoenix down. Whatever. We'll, um... We'll save that. Because Lorenta does already know Invoke Feather. So next battle, we'll just have her start with reviving Janus. That's going to be rough. To my side, my Yikes. noble These beasts are much too dangerous. Okay, so let us invoke feather. Invoke feather. Swing. Return to the living Belenith or er, uh, Janus. God crush! Awesome. Perfect. Buy ourselves a turn. Um. Yeah. 
All right, we do want to get a few charge orbs. All right, so Lorenta should be ready to go. Using fire against a dragon blooded? Foolish Manticore. I'll show you fire, Manticore. Take my rage and all of my sorrow. Burning finger! Or however it goes. I, I think it's like Shining Finger, actually. I don't know. I never watched Gundam. I only know some of the memes. Great, now our characters are a little bit of desynchronized because Janus was dead, so he didn't get experience from that one battle. But he should level up this next fight. Since he's only like a few thousand off. To my side, my noble Einherjar. And because it's against a dragon tooth warrior, god damn. Yeah! Explosive arrow to the face! Damn it, Janice! Did I underestimate it? Janice, I need you to stop dying. Maybe I should swap Valkyrie and Janice. Maybe that would put Janice more in the front. I whiffed once again. Ow! Valkyrie getting fucked up by that, uh, sword. Alright. Enemy died, we're good to go. I think, uh, next battle we m if it's against Chumps, we might have Lorenta do a bit of healing. Simply because our characters are probably getting a little bit low. To my side, my noble Einherjar. Ooh, These are much too that's... Alright, we are not gonna do some healing. We have a Fatal Glimmer and a Dragon Tooth Warrior. So Glimmer can party wipe. <clears throat> I'm gonna kill that thing first and foremost. <laughs> Making sure that it dies. My power has awakened. Finishing strike. Dreaded dragon. Yeah, Ayla is definitely my favorite polearm character that we can get. Not a lot of competition though. Like you have reaped what you have uh, sown. What are the other polearm? We've gotten Lawfer, um, the pretty boy, kind of okay. Um, and that's but like there's not a lot of polearm characters in the game. For better or worse. For my honor. This is a mistake. Guilty break. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to kill well. it. I will strike again. We'll just let that go. Oh, get blocked, nerd! Get blocked, nerd! Hey nerd, you got blocked. Alright, now I think we can wombo combo Divide our ultimates and finish it off. I also like, because of how uh, Valkyrie profile is so positional, because Lenneth ended up behind the enemy, she's doing her ultimate on the other side of the screen. <laughs> I just think it's a nice touch. Sort of a devs thought of everything situation. My soul burns. My power has awakened. Finishing strike. Dreaded dragon. And then we just blow this area up. Wow, actually, that blast has a lot more combo charge than I thought. 
I didn't realize it could actually bring it back up to 100 from the second position. Alright. Fucking exploding chest. Book of Everlasting Life. Well, that's good to know, so we can live forever. I believe that's actually a very useful book. I think we could turn that into something quite neat. I know we are going to be getting an item that is very, very important and useful to speedrunning. It's somewhere in here. But I believe we are still missing one of the items that lets us go really crazy with crafting. All right, there's the elevator. So I think I... Did I come out of that elevator? Have I been left? Yes! The left is a dead end. Gonna head in here. Going down! Ding! All right, Johnny, tell her what she's found. You, Valkyrie, have found a circuitous route. All right, so there's an enemy. Where'd you go? Oh, it fucking teleported all right on top of me. Hey, buddy. Getting a little frisky with a Valkyrie. Three sorcerers and a bloodsucker. Um, hey, Lorenta. How about you fuck these people up? Hydrate? Fine. I suppose I can do that. Um, let's try and kill the Bloodsucker first. I actually left my water bottle, so let me go grab that. After we do this combat real quick. I also need to get my second cup of tea. Oh, shit! He has his own round of, um party-wide attacks. I don't think I've ever seen that attack before. Um, we're gonna need someone to revive Lorenta. That is really unfortunate. Fortunately, we did not kill him. No shot. Damn. Did I underestimate? No, it cannot be. All right, note to self: kill the sorcerers first. Um, I'm actually a little bit worried he might block. So we're gonna just use a way of guaranteed damage. So I don't want to, uh, die. Not with Valkyrie one hit away from death. That is painful. Their souls have been released. We have no reason to remain here. That kind of sucks that our characters missed out on that experience. All right, so let me go get the hydration station right fast quick. We have Wawa. We have more tea. Thank you for that, Aurora. 
uh, certainly setting myself up for failure with the whole accidental, like, seven-hour stream of uh, Subnautica. Because I did have the Rain World commentary I had to do in the morning, and it's just... Drecky. Drecky, you done fucked up. What are you doing, Drecky? The one night you sleep early, you miss out on a seven-hour Sonata stream. Yeah! I just... It, it just kept being, like, one more thing to do. There's just one more thing to do. One more thing to do. Ooh, her maximum hero value is low. Mm, I didn't remember it being that low. I think maybe... I think maybe your actual level might also get added to your hero value. I'll need to double check that, make sure I'm not crazy. But she's at 96 right now. We can check that later. Now we can spend points on maybe keeping her alive. Um... Flash seems fine. But she needs more health. But I don't think we can... Ooh. We have defend now. We can put points into that. Let's give... I don't remember if Splash is good or if it's detrimental. It doesn't contribute to hit counter, but I wonder if it might still count for... Um, ooh, chance to silence an enemy. That's nice. You won't hurt to take that. Uh, but if it if it counts as an attack insofar as it can like knock loose XP gems and <clears throat> charge crystals would be worth it. Um, depends on how much it might modify our enemies juggling. That could be a little annoying. We'll see. Valkyrie being our mainstay has plenty of points, so we'll just work on that. Lorenta, we finally max out your magic power. Let's give her... No, we need to work on this. I want to make sure I don't accidentally forget about it. I have definitely never done that before and had to reload an entire chapter because I fucked things up. Can't swim. <laughs> Literally the worst character for the uh, day that we need, or the chapter we need someone who swims. Lorenta with the 162. Well seasoned veteran, very heroic. She is basically a teacher at one of the biggest uh, magical schools on this world. What am I doing? Got that. Valkyrie, Janice, Ayla. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Well, what? Yeah! Yeah, dying tends to interrupt your job history. But, you know, thankfully, she was immediately hired by the Valkyrie. You know, she uh, comes impeccably recommended. Is this just a circle? Okay. 
Noted, it is just a circle. And we're back to start, I believe. Uh, let's save real quick. Just to double check. Yes. So then if I just go out here. We can leave. Um. Hmm. Well, I didn't mean to accidentally go back to the start. I got a little bit turned around, I guess. Um, Janice is very far behind. Huh. Do we want to go ahead and do the exit and send our characters up? Because I do I do want to make sure I do that before I complete the tower for order of operations reasons. Um How much do we have in our XP orb? Oh, oh uh, just two hundred thousand, you know, just a little bit. Um, we do have, okay, so think of what I'll do. I'll run the poll real quick, and we do have the ads coming in soon, so I can let the poll run while the ads happen, so we don't lose anything, and then we can make sure, we can, like, go 100% full bore and not have to worry about backtracking in the tower. Because I know once we get down into the depths, it's going to be... Um, very confusing. So, we want Janice. Set that for just the length of the ads. Okay, poll is up if anyone cares. Um, I will use this time to really quick get another pot of tea going because I am going to need all of the um, throat juice uh, for today because it looks like we're going to be a long Valkyrie profile too for this chapter. We still have two dungeons to get through. Cave of Thacus is going to be on the shorter end, but I know Tower of Zerva. If it's the one I'm thinking of, is a little bit more meaty. <laughs> what is Asgard? Uh, that's, uh, that's where we've been sending the, uh, souls we have. They're basically fighting in the War of the Gods. Um, so, like, our goal as the Valkyrie is we are training people to send up. For, they, they are permanently gone, basically, yeah. Yeah, so anyone, whoever we send up, we are not going to have again in the party. And that's why I'm saying I'm not sending Ayla up this chapter. Um, because I, I, I want to use her. Um, the thing about Loren, like, the thing about casters is they're interchangeable. There's r literally no difference between every caster. Um, there's, like, tiny min-maxi things that matter, but 
we're not gonna be playing at the kind of stuff where that matters. Um, because, like, some casters actually have a higher starting, um, magic stat, but, like, stats really don't matter a lot in this game, unless you get really, really significant amounts of them. Um, you need, like, tens or hundreds for, for stats to really start moving the needle and mattering. It seems Janice is the one we will be shucking. So let me get him situated. Um, do need to give him a weapon. Give him that. We get rid of the silver salad. One of our normal gauntlets. One of our normal shoes. Let's remove the Power Bangle and the Mirror of Polites. Um, we do need to give him some levels. I think he needs two levels. Let's do... Actually, before I do that... Where is the other emerald necklace? Emerald necklaces are very useful um, because they give us extra points on level up. So we could do a little bit of cheesy. We love cheese in this ziggurat. God, I would... I would throw money at someone's face for a charcuterie board right now, now that I think about it. It has been a minute, and it sounds really fucking delicious. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, man. Just some cheeses that I've never had before, some jams, some nice crackers. Shit, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm gonna make myself hungry. I might have to stop by, uh... There's a... Not farmer's market, but close to it, uh, grocery that does something like that of like their cheese place in the deli will make like ad hoc charcuterie boards. It's just like little things of four different cheeses, but it's just always bangers. All right, so we need trick. Demon Intelligence. And... Hear Noise? Hear Noise. This is just icing on the cake. Um, negotiator we also need, but that's a special trait. Um, so like, all of our characters, and that's one of like, really interesting things. You have those traits we can give them in the skill menu. But each character also has intrinsic traits, and that could be, like, their class. So, like, if it's asking for an archer, you know, archers have the archer trait. Then it starts getting into some of the really interesting things. Like, um... One of them I know is going to mention character who can swim. And Lorenta, it actually says right there, can't swim. Uh, we would actually be, like marked down, or, like, we wouldn't get as good of a grade for sending Lorenta up during that, because she, like, not only does not have that, she, like, fails to have it completely, like, in a negative sense. Um, so there's, like, meta traits. Uh, we can still sort of grant those, because if you notice, I gave Janice some, uh, extra things and yes, Angel Lips. Angel Lips basically gives them the negotiator trait. So with this, Janice will basically give us max points because they're above the value. They have all four of the things that Odin is asking for. And some good shot. Do I need to be in the world map? I don't think I ever checked. Let me see. Yes. All right. 
Um, let me save to make sure I'm not crazy. This would be very awkward if uh, I send a couple characters up and the tower disappears, meaning we fail. Because we absolutely do have to clear this tower um, before we do anything else in the overworld. Because um, if it disappears without us confronting Lazar, we miss one of the flags for um, the true ending. I need to make sure Cashel does not have... All right, so he has the Angel Lips, the Shield. Um, does he have... Um... Does he have... Yeah, I... I t okay, yeah, 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 he's got everything. All right. Goodbye, Cashel, the most awkward of heavy knights. And goodbye, Janice. You're an archer, and that's about all I have I could say about you. Um, let's fix our party by bringing in... Uh, I, I like going double caster, honestly. So we are actually going to bring Yume in here. Um, you may... You can get some avoid, defend... Int is actually good since that raises magic damage. I'm just trying to put a point in everything to remind myself, hey, this gives stats. I should put stuff in there. Oh, also need to give her auto item. Make sure I put that in. Um, since she's going to be on the front line, I'm going to actually get survival maxed first. Because that's like an extra 1600 health. What types of cheese? It's literally all sorts. Um, my... My... I... There's so many different cheeses. I like to try different, as many different things as possible, um, has been my strategy. Um, so I just look for things that I've never had before, and I get that. Um, we're gonna get the Dragon's Bane to our mermaid. So let's get Lorenta an appropriate... Actually, how bad was the... Eh, Crystal Wand isn't too bad. We'll do that. You may get the Dragon's Bane. Uh, we'll give her a tiara because why not? She's pretty. She deserves it. And then a Magic Bangle. Um, Power Bangle, Bracelet of Zoe. Power Bangle, Emerald Necklace, Magic Bangle, Fangle, Fairy Earring, Magic Bangle, I need another Fairy Earring. I like Fairy Earrings on casters because it lets them act like one turn faster. It's a small thing, but every turn can matter. Uh, we also need to give her a little bit more armor. Lorenta, you have... the Extreme Guard. We're gonna take that off of you, actually. Let's get a new armor. So if you kill a villain, can you add them to your party? Well, we're a Valkyrie, so we're only supposed to be gathering, like, worthy people. We sort of have an anti-hero on our team. Um, the, uh, person, Arngrim, uh, Arngrim is very, very, uh, gots from Berserk coded, uh, they, their weapon's the Dragon Slayer, it's a giant slab of metal, they're kind of a bastard with a heart of gold kind of thing, um, 
they have a hero value so far into the negatives, it is literally impossible to send them to Asgard at any point in the game. I feel like, um, I forgot to check to see if levels add to, um, hero value. I don't think she's gotten a level up. You know what? We can just give her a fucking... No, I want to save my XP orb. When we hit... So, level 7, she's at 96. So, when you see if at level 8, she's at above that. If levels add to the hero value, maybe you could cheat and, like, get him 50 billion levels. But, uh, he's at, like... Ne he starts at, like, negative 150 or something like that. Like... He is way down there. Um, what spells we have set? Yume's on the Frigid Damsel train. Not bad. Mystic Cross is actually one of the best spells in the game. It does holy damage, which is super effective against a lot of enemies. And I don't think really resisted by many either. It does multi-hit. Um in a very fast manner, like Mystic Cross by itself can sometimes knock loose crystals. Um, so if I can actually get another Mystic Cross, that would be cash money. Let's see if we can transmute anything while we're in the menu. Their spells can be turned into other things, but we need the some of the higher level um, stuff to turn it into useful. So I think Prismatic Missile is also a pretty good one, if I remember correctly. How do you increase hero value? Um, improving their traits is the primary way. So the, the traits field, as those go up and down, their hero value increases. And every character has a different starting hero value, so that's why it's like all over the place. But, um, right. Um, give her the... Why do I keep doing that? We need to remove from Lorenta the Extreme Guard. Because we are going to give it to Yume. Let's try and go back into the tower to make sure we're good on that front. Tower of Lazard Valeth. All right, let's go in and save. So the biggest reason we needed to do that before finishing is so our seal value is at 100. Um, completing the tower uh, for lore reasons, and it will make sense when it happens, that seal value is going to take a pretty big hit. We want to make sure we take nice, big bites out of it. So you just dump everything into the hero value to try and get that bounty hunter into Asgard. This is not a good thing. It actually doesn't matter. Um, if they have a high enough hero value, uh, you can actually send people with not a high enough hero value. I just want to meet all the requirements because we get rewards. Um, so, like, the currency we use to create items in the shop, that's a fixed number. Technically, we can get a little bit more by transmuting items into it, but enemies don't respawn. Outside of one place where there is a specific exploit you can do, there is a finite amount of combat, XP, and items you can get, period, in the game. You get plenty of them, but you do want to not be too wasteful in spending them. Um, you also actually, when sending characters up to Asgard, want to make sure you still give them equipment. So, you know, usually when you lose a party member forever, you strip all of their equipment off before they leave. Um, that can actually be bad because... Um, in between the chapters, uh, your characters are doing things in the battle, and they actually can die. 
And if they die while, you know, up in Asgard, then they're they're gone. They're super gone. You're shocked you've never heard of this game? There was not a lot of English copies made, to be honest. Um, it was very small. It was back in the PlayStation 1 era, so it's just... I don't know. It, it wasn't a lot of pop off. Uh, Final I Fantasy kind of are. won the... Um, turn-based JRPG war, so, um, there just wasn't room for, uh, I guess it to, to thrive, and Tri-Ace really has not done much with the, um, IP, like, they've mostly messed with their Star Ocean, Series. And I think they've had Lenneth do cameos, but, like, it's not much. Just really has not been given much love at all, and it's really sad to see that. I... mucked up. Did we get a full party wipe? We're going to pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And like, since we're playing on hard, like all of our characters we recruit start at level one, which is like good and bad. Um, good in that we can get more like points. It, it's easier to get points to max out their traits and get their skills up. But those first, like, until we get they get to like level 10, they're usually kind of a drag. All right, this is why we save often. We're going back to the Tower of Lazard Valeth. Um, that was the wrong elevator anyway, I believe. So let me, and I actually want to put Valkyrie on X. And I also want to remember to cast Heal first thing we get into battle. Um, right, so we want to go up. Into the elevator. Yeah, the only thing that makes enemies respawn is leaving a dungeon and going back in. So we can get a to little bit side, more of experience for our peoples. Oh! Are much too dangerous. Oh, lovely! This is fine. This is fine! This is fine. Heal. Thankfully, all of the healing is percentage-based, so we don't need to worry too much. We are actually going to try... Ooh, he froze! Perfect, baby! Probably shouldn't have done that, but fuck it. Uh, we're gonna get a turn to Wombo Combo the other Dragon Warrior. Um... I think we'll leave him at that. You only prolong your suffering. You missed me. Ha! Get fucked. Oh, he's still frozen. Perfect. All right. Got that possession, but they were frozen. Oh, it full healed them. Oh, I'm so stupid. Drecky, you had to hit them all at the same time. 
Oh, I made a mistake. I made a horrible, terrible, awful mistake. Um, are any of our sorcerers coming online? Because I want to... Oh, both of our sorcerers are available. All right, let's try and fuck this guy up. What? Why did... All right, we froze him, so that's not too bad. I don't know why that went into uh, the combo before I was done using my attacks. Drecky and terrible, horrible, no good, bad mistake. Yeah, basically. Um, we're actually just going to end turn until they unfreeze. Because Yume is back online. All right, we almost got both sorcerers. All right, I think we can um, use our limit breaks and finish off this demon, this uh, uh, dragon tooth soldier, and we'll be fine. Drecky and the terrible, horrible, no good, bad mistake. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Aurora. <laughs> Surely you realize. I hope that wasn't too strong. Huh? I can't. My soul burns. My power has awakened. Unleash your inner dragon. dragon. Dreaded dragon. Dreaded dragon. I'm. I was sure that. Oh, they're frozen. They're frozen, baby. Frozen. All right. We'll wait one turn. Perfect. Mystic Crop. Ha! Yeah! Ha! Ha! Take that! Nice! We juggled a couple extra XP crystals out of them. There, guys. Yeah, I I really love the combat in Valkyrie Profile. Um, it, it really rewards knowing your characters and using them well, um, so you can juggle them and get exactly what you want out. Especially, and like with the fact that each character, even characters of the same classes, have um, unique attack patterns, attack timings. It's just, just so much fun. And that's why I wanted to show, I definitely, I want to get all the characters in addition to visiting all the dungeons. The whole concept of the game seems amazing, not just the combat. Yeah, I, it's... There's a reason it's one of my all-time favorite games, and it's a game I speed ran um, casually. I didn't, I didn't post any records out, but just kind of did my side, own thing. My I haven't These saved. This is that dragon dangerous. zombie that fucked our face up. Um, I think we. I think we could take him. Famous last words. I think we could take him. We may not be able to take them. I won't lose. Ouch. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Um, let's see if we have a dragon. There it is. There's a dragon slayer. Yeah, we're, we're not going to take the risk. So Valkyrie is going to be out of pocket this turn. Uh, we'll send them the Disrespect Familiars for zero damage. Uh-oh, Yume is going to get herself blasted with the Shadow Servant. She got better, though. All right, so we interrupt. We hit him with that. And then we insta-kill them. Thankfully, we have two Dragon Slayers, and it does not sound you like the well, dragon died, answer. or the sword broke. So that is very good. Go ahead and swap Valkyrie back to her normal blade. Unfortunate that dragon does so much damage, and we do so little, because 
we could get a lot of experience if we juggled it for a while. But I want to take that risk. Not with it having that weird void ability to that just swamped our whole party that one time. I think he's dead. Yeah, nice, nice crystal harvest. Famous last words in question did not turn out to be famous last words. Thankfully. They were infamous first words, I guess. Ooh, it dropped us a goodie. What is that scream? <laughs> Killed by birds. That is the most disrespect I can give. I do like how every sorcerer does have different... Uh, familiars. Um, so like the the uh, Yume has like a little cockatiel looking thing, and Lorenta, uh, uh, I forget what the her bird was. Side, that bird's called. These beasts are much too dangerous. Uh, blood sucker first, because otherwise the dragon tooth will boost the fuck out of the Bloodsucker's stats. Mystic crop, yeah. Looks more like a normal yeah. pigeon, honestly. And Ayla and Valkyrie just go into town on both sides of these enemies. Fucking... <laughs> they cannot survive. I still hate how Ayla is missing entirely with her, um, spear throw. Good shit, good shit. Alright, next round, we are going to be in for some serious moolah. I'm gonna shake out as much as we can. Frigid Cross Stanzel! Ooh, we knocked loose an item. I think it drops breastplates, which are pretty damn good. Let us be gone from this place, my Yep, breastplates. Nice. I believe all enemies have, like, only one thing that can drop. So, like, if you get an item drop from an enemy, like, you know exactly what you're getting. Which can be kind of nice if you're trying to target farm something. Am I... Is this the circle room? No, it is not. Because that's a new enemy. Maybe I should go back to take that elevator, then? Oh boy, more ghoul powder. Yay. Valkyrie is like, was that supposed to hurt? And knock out a few charge crystals, get our sorcerers back online earlier. <laughs> no, no, no! You'll be fine, you may. Oh boy. I cannot wait. Some of the best characters are starting to be uh, available. Uh, next chapter, we get a very important one, um, which the game is very cruel about what we have to do with them. But they are 
basically one of the best uh, combo characters. Yeah! It's absolutely hilarious, and it makes no sense why they are able to do what they do. It's cruel what the game does to us. Because um, it's it's one of the yeah. mandatory things for the true ending that we will have to do. Alright, that, uh... Kind of weird how it tried to make us do the limit break, but still let us continue attacking. That's a strange bug that I've never seen happen before. But then again, it has been a very long while since I was trying to... Uh, do stuff with all characters rather than speed running. It's like in the speed run, you actually only recruit like four characters. One of them probably don't even need to do if you want to do a more RNG based um, heavy item use run. One character, uh, Lelwyn, for the. Uh, the magic that I mentioned about, his third attack having uh, properties of magic, is perfect for... Um, there's a couple early bosses that have a very high guard chance, and you don't really have... Uh, the power to one-cycle them. So your you have what you have casters are going to be offline, and it's before you get familiar. Lightning bolt. So having Lelwyn able to guard break to start attacks is very useful yeah! in those ah! fights. Ha! Ha! Take that. It shall All right, be let's see if Valkyrie and Ayla can one, two. Yeah, I think they got this. I think they got this. Damn, Valkyrie solo this fucking Tesla ball. Goodbye. You all fought so bravely. Ain't nothing for it, babe. I like how you may uh and it's again, one of those JRPGs love their little little features. Um because she has the dragon bane. Instead of having a staff on her victory screen, she's actually wielding the short sword. Sometimes it's the it's the little details that stand out so much. To my side, my noble Einherjar. These beasts are much Bridget too dangerous. Yeah. Ha. 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 Take that. No, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and if we wait two turns, they're gonna all be ready for another round of wombo combo. This poor, poor dog. This chimera is this my this manticore Bridget is getting Dancer. slagged. Yeah. Bye! <laughs> give me give me all those delicious, delicious XP crystals, baby. I may not be being hyper min-max really by using uh, um, RNG manipulation to get maximum stats per level up, but I will juggle your ass for all your uh, money. Ooh, we found a frigid damsel and some nightshade. That seems awesome. Ominous. Ah, I didn't do it right. Well, we found where that elf was. She ain't here no more, though.
damn it. So I guess this might have been a dead end, unless this took us to another floor. The fact that we can't select where to go. Oh yeah, all right, we're back at the top. So let's go ahead and save. Um, actually, I think our characters are due for a round of distribution. Oh yeah. Capacity does max out at 999, so I do want to spend... I'll get first aid up. She has survival and... Um, attack power already maxed. Uh, so we'll max out her survival. And then fight gives a little bit of all stats, so it's a nice generalist. Lorenta is good on magic power. So I want to give her survival for the extra health, and then we'll do... Um, what else gives... Good int. Defend is okay. Int. It's for caster's intelligence is our permanent stat. There's a lot of little stats that give intelligence, so casters are a little bit better situation than melee characters on that front. All right, so we need to take the elevator, and I think it's down... Maybe... There, I saw there was an extra elevator for us to swap over to. I think it's down one more. Definitely down one more, because this is a... <laughs> it's just a treasure chest room. We missed some treasure. Hey, we got splash. Now we can make like a magic art and just splash. Doing splash, splash. magic art in the bath. Who threw it in there? Get it out, cause it's making a splash, splash little mess. So yeah, if I go down, I think this is a different elevator. Let's see if this takes us further down. Yes, this is new because it has an enemy. Uh, sorry, pardon me. Let me just uh, let me just hit the button. I'm kind of going down to the basement uh, where they put my car. You know, I just gotta go all the way down there. Uh, oh, fuck me, it's in the back row. Well, that's dangerous. Because if that orb is going to explode on us, we are not going to have a good time. knock loose a bunch of charge crystals. Uh, I don't want to kill the demon because then we have a fatal glimmer with souped up stats and it will have us not do well. 
Hey, baby, we froze it. All right, let's knock loose a whole bunch more of charge crystals, get our casters nice and ready to go again. And we will just blast the orb with them. So that, worked, that ended up working out pretty good. Not too bad, not too bad. Bye. And old Nebelung Molesty for good measure, baby. Ugh. Yeah, I've been sitting for a while. I think I'm switched to standing desk mode. Drecky transform! <laughs> Stretch and hydrate. I Return suppose I can do that. So anyway, let's switch the hamstrings now that I'm standing up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, keep that keep that knee in, don't let it fly out. Pull the ankle to your body and give a slight lean forward, pulling your legs straight back if you need a bit of a deeper stretch. Mm. Oh yeah. Look at that. 6006 experience. Crazy how that math works out, huh? And we got another breastplate off that dragon tooth ward. We're really assembling a suit of. Uh, 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 never mind arming I and No! I was too busy monologuing! Well, at least we got these treasure chests. No, no, no! Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck me. All right. Where is this? I think this is back at the top. Yes. Elevator troubles? Uh, yeah, you know, someone mashed all the buttons before I went in and I didn't notice fast enough, so it's just kind of... Gotta wait for it to cycle, you know? It's just really frustrating when that happens. Alright, we do want to go up there, but never leave an item behind. Rearmed! A citrine. Nice. Alright, so this is going to go back to the top. And we wait one more, and we should be back at the progress. There we go. I finally did the little wall hop. Alright, we are making progress, comrades. What do we have to the left? We have a dragon. You know what we say to dragon? We say, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh, fuck, two dragons. Alright, I was gonna see if we can do damage to juggle one of them. Um, but I'm not going to try and juggle two when I think they can one-shot us. No! It froze and I broke it! Drecky, you stupid chuckle muck. Oh, okay. Oh, I was so worried we just had a full party wipe. I am terrified. Oh, I'm terrified. The fact that I interrupted that freeze is... might legitimately 
mean we lose. Oh, fuck. It has been so long since we saved. We'll go for the revive on Valkyrie and hopefully they don't go for a party-wide attack. All right. All right. Valkyrie should auto revive someone and doesn't. Oh, fuck. We can kill one of them. Maybe both. Fuck! Yeah, it blocked all my attacks. To uh to break guards, you have to um basically hit them in a short span of time to break it. Um let's see, we're gonna need two for the tower. Two for Zerva, two for Tarkus. I think the play here is we take the L and we go right back in. That way we don't lose any of our level progress. Um, and all of our characters are revived at full health. Um, I'm going to refresh myself real quick and... Um, grab my notes so I'm a little bit more directed uh, because this tower is a bit of a bloody maze um, before I forget let me make sure I do another round of upgrading because they did get some levels oh that was so unfortunate running in I need I think the play is anytime we see the dragon zombies we need to pre-equip the Dragon Slayer because I cannot afford to lose a turn equipping it. Uh, you, we never know when it's going to be a double dragon and then our day is sad. Ugh. 